In a previous video that I made about uh, color grading tips, I mentioned using this, uh, these uh, gray cards. Uh, you can find the link in the description below if you don't know where to get those. They're pretty cheap. I think they're about $10 or so. Anyways, so let me elaborate. I know a lot of you guys ask me more about these cards. So what are these cards specifically for? Well, first of all, you get the gray card. With a gray card, you can do a perfect white balance, not just for film, but also for photography. Like, for example, if you're shooting some kind of a product, like a purse or some kind of a dress, you really want to nail down the precise white balance. So, therefore, you have the gray card. Now, black and white card, and um, I'm going to show you DaVinci Resolve screen right now, what you can do with this. So, basically, with the black and white, you can also white balance with these cards. But also, specifically in DaVinci Resolve, you can specify the contrast point just by selecting these two cards. So, essentially, in a perfect world, and you can probably do this thing yourself with a piece of cardboard. If you, I, I keep my cards all together because it's easier like that. I actually don't use them pretty often because I've been doing it for such a long time. I kind of know, you know, the white balance and all that. But uh, let's say if you want to be in the pinch precisely. So separate all these three cards put it on a piece of cardboard or something like that and display those three cards simultaneously against the talent's face therefore immediately you can do precise white balancing and the contrast point for your scene now let me give you a little bit information about the white balance i know a lot of beginner and amateur filmmakers trying to white balance for every different angle well that's a recipe for disaster you're not supposed to be white balancing every single shot for example if you're shooting something outside during the day like within you know not sunset not sunrise just you know this kind of daytime frame don't white balance like crazy every shot Put your camera to 5500 or 5600 and leave it like that because if you're gonna do a white balance for every scene first of all it's gonna be complete nightmare for the colorist so your colorist instead of focusing on the color grading gonna be spending a lot of time and therefore in a professional world a lot of extra money because you know a lot of colorists charging per hour and it's actually a lot of money i think beginner colorist is like 200 bucks an hour something like that Anyways, you're creating a nightmare for the colorist and you're making the process more complicated. Put to 5600 and never touch it. Um, the only way I recommend changing the color temperature for your camera, let's say you're shooting a parking structure and they have funky lights. Uh, let's say you're filming something at night and they have those like weird orange lights. Then you kind of can dial it in to sort of look more natural. But generally, always keep your camera at 5600 and your uh, proper white balance always going to be almost spot on. So hopefully this explains a little bit uh, how to use these cards. Um, I'm going to be making more videos about filmmaking probably in the next couple days. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.